이걸 모르면 헛골 치는 겁니다. If you don't know what this thing means, you're just binding Satan in vain. 이게 비밀이요. That's the mystery. 사단이요. 하나님의 구원의 계획이 하나님이 사용하신다니까요. Remember, Satan is being used by God to accomplish his salvation. 하나님이 이 어둠 속에서 그리스도를 깨달은 이 하나님의 구원의 계획을 하나님이 그 성령으로 역사하신다니까. Because right now God is working through the Holy Spirit so that through this darkness God can accomplish his work of salvation. And that's why all we need to do is receive grace. Then when we receive grace, regardless of us, this darkness flees. We are completely liberated from the darkness that held us captive. Why is that? It's because in Christ there is a law of the spirit of life. And because this darkness is the law of sin and death, without the law of the spirit of life, you cannot be set free from the law of sin and death. And so when we think about grace, it's not just simple grace that we throw around. People think that if they just feel better, they, they, they receive grace. They feel like if they got encouraged a little bit, that they receive grace. They think that if things start going well, that they're receiving grace. We might call those things grace, but those things could also be deception. God has hidden all human blessings in Christ. So do you think God wants to give us Christ? Or do you think God wants to give us individual blessings like financial blessing and health one by one? What is grace? It is that God gave us Christ. Amen. It's the hidden mystery. Amen. And in Christ, all things in heaven and on earth come together. And all things are hidden in Christ. When Deacon, who is the uh, guiding us in a, on a tour excavation, he said this. He said that before he knew the gospel, when he was studying history, there were so many things about history that just didn't make sense. <coughs> if the gospel conquered Rome, then Rome should have prospered, but it actually crumbled. 우리가 이만 복음 이제 로마가 이제 복음 받으니까 진짜 진짜 이제 세계 정복을 제대로 해봐야 되는데 그게 아니라 무너졌다니까. Now most of us think that because the gospel conquered Rome, now Rome needs to prosper and take, you know, really do world evangelism correctly. But instead of that, Rome actually fell. 우리 인생도 마찬가지입니다. And it's the same with our life. 우리는 복음 받으면 모든 문제 해결. We say that if we receive the gospel, it's the solution to all of our problems. And we already have all the blessings that are in Christ. And those words gratify our sinful, physical nature so well. You know, we live the life of Genesis chapter 3 being hurt and scarred in so many different ways. So when we receive a little grace and we realize Christ, we begin to believe Christ. And imagine how much believing in Christ gratified our nature. But did it work? Did you receive the solution to all of your problems? 
Are you enjoying all the blessings that are hidden in Christ? I think most of your lives are probably in the process of crumbling. It's the same thing. Everything is in Christ. And that is why Christ needs to be Christ to me. Amen. 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 If you do not know this and things go well, you're still going to fail. And you will take your Genesis chapter 3 and you will turn that into your background. And you will sit in the place of God. And that's why we should be so thankful that God is not deceived by us. And it's something to be so thankful for that the gospel does not get deceived by us. The gospel cannot be deceived. Only as much as the gospel becomes the gospel. And that is why God is using our life to show us that He and this gospel cannot be deceived. And you know what? Your life, your field cannot be deceived. In the past, when I met people who were better off than me, who had more things than me, I really envied them and I thought, Wow, that person is so lucky. Not only that, I was so oppressed by them, I couldn't even talk to them. But as time went by, through the works that were happening in the field, God exposed that reality to me. It's a reality that cannot be deceived. That the gospel alone is the way of salvation. And only as much as we realize this mystery, and only as much as we are transformed by this mystery, can the mystery of the gospel be realized and actualized in our life. Amen. And as I realized this just a little bit, I began to see that doing things well or not doing things well don't matter anymore. 그런만큼 그런 것들의 눌림도 이제 자유하게 됐습니다. And as much as I realized that, I was freed, I was liberated yeah. from that kind of bondage. Hallelujah. Amen. 이게 뭡니까? And that is what it means to attain to the invisible realm of faith and to live as people of faith. It says in Romans chapter 1 verse 16 I am not ashamed of the gospel. Yes. For the gospel is the power of God for salvation for everyone who believes. First for the Jew, then for the Gentile. <coughs> and in the gospel, a righteousness from God is revealed. And it is by faith from first to last. And the, only the righteous will live by faith. Amen. Have you ever struggled about your faith? When I 
before when I didn't know the 